It's going to be a great day. Our friend Greg Moss is back with us for his Where in the Town segment. And Greg, you're in Brighton at the Woods and Sun Piano Company. And Corey, what's really cool about this company is the history goes back to the 1800s here in Colorado. This is actually a picture of the Woods and Sons Piano Company in Fort Collins. Uh, we, we think this goes back to about 1890. That was one of their storefronts. They, of course, have grown and expanded throughout the years. It is now a fifth generation family-owned business. And as you say now, we're uh, close to Brighton, Colorado here. We're just a little bit up north on I-25. And as they have grown, they have an amazing success story. They're now distributing some of the world's finest uh, pianos from around the world. This is a Fazioli, Apollo Fazioli. And uh, Corey, any guesses on how much this might retail for, this yeah. beautiful it's piano? Greg Moss money. I yeah. mean, I'm gonna go with like 15,000. <laughs> You know what? Uh, Moss money is more like two hundred and ten thousand dollars. How about oh, that? Holy okay, moly! Really Be gentle. And look at me. I am playing. <laughs> this is a crime what I'm playing on this piano right now. <laughs> but Pretty we're going to talk more about Woods and Sons and talk to the fifth generation of this. Uh, uh, I shouldn't really even touch this thing. Uh, yeah. This fifth generation <laughs> company coming up throughout the morning on Where in the Town. Yeah, please. Look with your eyes, now with your hands. Yes, that's my mommy story. Step me. <laughs> back from the two hundred and ten thousand dollar piano. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. Greg Moss, thank you. Always appreciate it. Let's go check the forecast. Marty's joining us. Guess As it turns out, our buddy Greg Moss is a man of many talents. This morning, he's going to be tickling the ivories at a family-owned piano shop. Greggy, good morning. Where are you at? You know, it was just worth getting up this morning to hear you say tickling the ivories, Gary. <laughs> we are up in unincorporated Adams County, uh, actually a Brighton mailing address. But, you know, as part of the Metro North Chamber of Commerce, we love to take a look at fascinating businesses. This is one of them this morning that I had no idea the history. This is a fifth generation uh, piano restoration company and piano uh, selling company, really. This is part of their shop here right now. Let me introduce you to the fifth generation of this company. This is Joe Woods, Woods and Sons Piano. Thank you for letting us in and good morning to you. Good morning to you. This is really, the, your, the history of this goes back to the 1800s with your family yes. immigrating here to Colorado. Yes. And uh, this is kind of a lost art we were talking about earlier. Yes, it's 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 kind of a unique thing. It's it's a, it's a way where you can make an, a decent living as a as a as a craftsman. Yeah. And uh, I've always enjoyed it. Well, you've done a great job. And if you were with us earlier, I, I looked at this Fazioli, and it's that's a very expensive piano. This is the what, the action part of it right yes. here. And you were telling me earlier there's there are more moving pieces in a piano than there are in a car. Well, they're not more moving pieces, but there are more individual pieces, pieces. Uh, to b construct a piano than, than it takes to construct a car. And, and so when you're restoring all of this, um, you have to get in here and look at all, all of this interesting contraption yeah. here. It's yeah. not terribly sophisticated though, is it? Well, you know, it's it's uh, it's all wood. It's a machine made out of little wooden pieces. Yeah. That's, that's very unique. Um, there's, to regulate this thing, in other words, to, to from here to here, Yeah. Uh, is there's 15 adjustments per note. So 15 adjustments per note, 15 times 88, there's 1,320 adjustments. It's a lot of math. Yes. <laughs> I tell you what, and you got to have a passion for it. And throughout the rest of the morning, Marty, we're going to talk more about that passion. But and you, and you have to be very, very careful. We were talking about the the retail price of this Fazioli, which we're going to show you next half hour, about two hundred ten thousand dollars or yes. so. Yes. Yes. They're they're not cheap. <laughs> this is a man who gets right to the point, Marty. <laughs> they're not cheap. Don't screw it up. <laughs> Don't mess it up. Those are so beautiful. Great to see. You. Hi, it's a good morning. Not only is it Friday, Greg Moss is here for his Where in the Town segment where he highlights different locally owned businesses. Greg, you sure are music to our ears this morning. You're a Woods and Sun Piano Company in Brighton. Okay, maybe that can't be you playing. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> Christine, do you doubt this? Do you doubt my uh, musical prowess? No, it's not me. It's uh, actually Paul. He's the professional hanging out with us this morning at Woods and Sons Company because we wanted to show you the beautiful, or let you hear the beautiful melodic tones of a Fazioli. This is a new piano. This is actually one of the pianos they sell here at Woods and Sons, but they're more known for their uh, piano restoration. This is a fifth generation piano restoration company. Joe Woods is the fifth generation and he's hanging out with us this morning or you're letting us hang out thank you very much for showing us i had no idea the intricacies and the art that goes into restoration like this it's 
it's quite a profession. It, it sure really is. is. Yeah. And the history, now we're taking a look at your grandfather, your grandfather had a patent on a tool back yes. in the, the day. and uh, It's very elaborate uh, <laughs> drawings, uh, it, and it takes ten paragraphs there to describe the thing. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And this is one of the st uh, the stores, that, right? right? The, the inside the shop there. The inside of the store in Fort Collins, about 1890. And uh, if you look, he's got sheet music, right? And he's got pianos in the back. Yep. But he's also got liquor, and he's got guns, and uh, and busts and hats and. Well, he was diversified. That's yes. what we say in the That's business. Right. That's right. You are one of the few that do exactly what you do, and then with the detail, you're you're booked up for how much? Two oh, years now? A couple years. Yeah, we usually have about a two-year backlog of work. What is your so, secret to success in, in keeping this going for as long as it has? Well, the secret to restoration work is details. You have to be de a detail freak. Uh, it ha you can't say screw it, it ain't a piano, because it is. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you for letting us hang out. Coming up at 715, guys, over on My 20, we're going to go back to the shop and uh, show you all the intricacies and details. Not only restore, you, you sell new ones, that's the Fazioli, and as you may have heard earlier, that retails for about 200 plus grand. That's correct. All right. So. I'm not touching a thing, ever. <laughs> Good plan. Good plan. Back yeah. away from the $200,000 piano. Yeah. Put your eyes you don't want to, you, yes. you break it, you own it there. Right. That's <laughs>